Kentucky and here with you from deadpit.com for yet another in our long line of these reviews that we're doing here on YouTube. This one's another box set that came out from Arrow Video recently. He came from the swamp, the William Griffey Collection. We are seeing quite a bit of these box sets on a variety of regional filmmakers. Uh, Bill Griffey is from and mainly filmed in Miami, Florida, in the Everglades area of Florida. And I wasn't really too familiar with his work prior to this. I believe Stanley is uh, one that he's primarily known for. It's kind of kind of like Willard, but with uh, a snake. But yeah, I wasn't really that familiar with his movies, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to check out some of his films and also take a look at this pretty cool set that includes a total of eight movies on here. It's seven of Griffey's films, not including Stanley. Stanley was not included in this for some reason. But also, the eighth film is the documentary from 2009, on William Griffey and his movies and the, the people that helped him make the movies. And the name was They Came From The Swamp of the documentary. It's a two hour plus documentary. We're gonna be talking about all that stuff. I'm gonna go through all of these movies, um, give you a brief rundown of the film and this set, which you've got two movies on one Blu-ray disc a piece. And yeah, we're gonna take a look at it. William Griffey, the best way to describe his movies is ultra low budget, mainly produced for drive-in movie theaters. Like the big thing in the 60s and 70s for drive-in movie theaters is double features. A lot of these movies were made at the drop of a hat, written in like a couple of days, filmed in a week or less. So it's really renegade filmmaking at its best here with Bill Griffey's movies. This dude is still alive. He's like 90 years old, something like that. And each of these movies, too, also have an introduction from uh, Griffey. And he tells a little bit of a backstory behind the movie. That being said, we're going to go through these movies one by one. And I want to briefly touch on them. It would, t it would be a 50-minute review if I tried to delve deeply into these movies. And there's... Some of these movies, there's really not a lot to dive into. And a lot of these films are from the 60s and 70s. That's the drive-in era. One that they talk about quite a bit in the documentary is Sting of Death from 1966. This is kind of a ridiculous looking, you know, monster movie. A jellyfish man is the monster in it, right? Totally looks like you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a skit from laughing or something like that. But, uh, yeah, this is one of the better movies in the set for sure. It's just entertaining. It's, you know, you you have a jellyfish man with a garbage bag inflated over his head and you can see th in the bag, you can see a dude, just a regular guy's head in the bag, which you're seeing this in 1080. Uh, so I don't think they were thinking back in 1966 that, you know, people would be judging the movie that closely, but yeah, it's kind of funny. Next one up is also from 1966. This one is Death Curse of Tartu. Now, this is a fun one for sure, too. So this one, a group of archaeologist students disturbed the grave of a ancient witch doctor a Tartu, you know, as you can see there, which is pretty decent makeup effects for 1966. I'll give them credit. Looks kind of like Papa Shango from WWF back in the day. But uh, Tartu has the power to reincarnate in a variety of different animals and attack the students. So, uh, fun one here, no doubt. De Death Curse of Tartu. Uh, this one right here, Whiskey Mountain from 1977. This is the only movie, I think, in the set that was not shot in Florida. This one shot in North Carolina, of course, because, you know, they had to have mountains. And uh, Christopher George is in this movie. Um, I think they disturb some marijuana fields or something like that and get attacked. Um, 
Yeah, I, Charlie Daniels does a song on this too, oddly enough. Yeah, the Charlie Daniels Band. So that is Whiskey Mountain. Christopher George, of course, of, of Fulci fame. He's done all kinds of random genre movies over the years. The Hooked Generation. Now, this is one from uh, 68. It's like a drug movie. Um, these guys kill off their Cuban drug lord bosses and kind of try to take control of things themselves and get involved in sticky situation after sticky situation. Uh, the Hooked Generation. The Psychedelic Priest from 1971. This was an unreleased movie of Bill Grafay's that finally came out 30 years later. I'm thinking the year was 2001. And this movie is just fucking like, it's not really even a movie. I think the plot of this one is there's a priest that's talking to a bunch of hippie, druggy kids. And he's like, you guys need to straighten up and go to church, do your chores and everything. All during a conversation, he is sipping from one of their cups of uh, Coca-Cola, I think is what they said. But it was laced with acid. So the rest of the movie is a, you know, acid trip of psychedelic rock music and this this poor priest is just going crazy. So this is, you know, it's something that kids would enjoy watching back in 1968. Why they waited until 2001 to come out with this thing, it's not that great anyway. It's not very good, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what any kids from 2001 would get out of it other than just getting a kick out of how like poorly done it, it is. Sorry, but yeah, it was. The Naked Zoo from 1970. Rita Hayworth, oddly enough, is in this. Way before anybody knew what the Shawshank Redemption was. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is kind of like a, a sex movie, from what I could tell. I want to be quite honest with you. I think she cheats on her husband, and there's like a gigolo rider dude in it. and <sighs> It's just bad, man. Not very good. Make Old Jaws of Death from 1976. Uh, the character in the movie Sonny is a shark whisperer who will do anything to protect his precious sharks. And they use real sharks in this movie. So this came out shortly after Jaws. I'm sure that was partially the inspiration of Make Old Jaws of Death. But this one's not too bad, actually. Uh, it's got some good shots in it. This one is more of the one of the more well-made movies. Um, and again, most of these are around islands and the ocean and stuff like that. So this fits right in with, um, Bill Grafay's other movies for sure. Rounding out the rest of the movies, and I know I went through them quick here, is the documentary, They Came From The Swamp, from 2009, I think is what this is. So this is a two hour plus documentary about the entire life of Bill Grafay, how he got into the business how he went about finishing these movies, making these movies on, you know, literally a drop of a hat, no budget. A lot of them were zero budget. Getting a gimmick together for each movie to kind of, you know, it's, oh, that's the movie that has Charlie Daniels doing the song in it. So this is the most interesting, entertaining disc in the set. Now, I'm not flat out saying do not buy this yet. No, we'll talk about that here in a second, but... This is a great documentary, and I love stuff like this, especially on filmmakers that I don't really know much about. Features a lot of people that helped um, with the movies, and a rundown of a lot of the movies that um, made up this set and the rest of the movies in his career, which he did a lot. He did quite a bit. So that is They Came From The Swamp. Now this set here is interesting. Like I did a little bit of research on this thing, but not too much. Um. They did another version of this set. I think it's slightly thicker and included a book and maybe a poster or something like that. So they somehow, for some reason, re-released the exact same set, but in more condensed, slightly more affordable version. So this is like a $50 box set from Arrow Video. The video quality, um, it, it varies quite a bit. Most of it is not very good. But at the same time, you've got to realize that these movies were cheaply made, many of which were on 16 millimeter and unavailable to see in any form 
prior to this. This is a pretty interesting set. I want to be honest with you. The movies themselves, some of them are not very good. Okay. Maybe the majority of them are not very good. I'll let you guys judge on that one. But Arrow Video, man, they with their products and stuff, they always knock it out of the park. And this is another example of that. You can get a total of eight movies here, including a two-hour documentary, which I love shit like that. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, on Bill Grafay's life and his movies. And you can learn a whole lot of stuff that you didn't know prior. For $50, that's a pretty good value. And I know some people are still holding out for individual releases, which you may, they may end up doing individual double feature releases or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but it may be a while. So if you want to grab this right now, you can get it on Amazon for $50. And it's a, you know, it, it's a lot of bang for your buck. There's a lot of extras in this too. Bill Griffey does intros for each of the movies. I'm thinking aside from, I don't think he does it for Psychedelic Priest. Um, but the, yeah, there's hours of bonus content. Uh, tons of stuff to go through with He Came From The Swamp. You can check that out now. It's out from Arrow Video. This edition came out back in October, and I'm just now getting to it, but it's a total of eight movies, so it took a bit. Took me a minute. Arrow Video's got this out now. I will link below where you can get uh, the best price for this box set. If you are interested, check it out and check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a <laughs> if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.